Sally, so I'm told that the big story on the exchange today was Safaricom and its major block cross trades. Yes, Safaricom, similar to last week, continued to trade heavy blocks of trade. We saw at least 35 million shares traded across books by foreign investors and lots of heavy demand on the counter to trade at least 47 million shares at an improved price of 570. And 90 so we, we, we believe the demand on the counter is, of course, a run-up to results that we expect to see on Tuesday next week. And 90% um, of these uh, buyers were foreign investors positioning themselves ahead of those results next week. What is the feeling about uh, these Safaricom results? How, what are they likely to hold? We are optimistic. We have at least uh, we have a 36% um, growth forecast for EPS and a 50% dividend upside. So we, we're expecting to see 15 cents at least for the dividend payout. So on the other side of the coin, I'm told EBL traded downward today. Uh, how far down? Berries was, uh, the price was distorted by a 2,000 share uh, pri uh, trade at a low of 164. So the counter moved, shared at least 1.8% to an average of 168. And also Access Kenya as well weakened a bit today. I'm following the boardroom tussle, which uh, I understand it was uh, over the disagreements over pricing of its fiber optics. Uh, what is the, the latest on that? Uh, what is Access Kenya we, saying? We have nothing on Access Kenya. Access Kenya actually came out strongly on, fl on Friday clarifying the reports that were in the media. Uh, we believe the, the price is simply reacting to boardroom reconstitution and the postponement of the AGM as well as the dividend payout. And on the currency front, uh, the shilling, um, how do you think that's going to trade this week? Against the dollar, the shilling uh, declined marginally, but strengthened against the euro. And, um, and uh, what are the prospects now, beginning of the week, or the prospects for the rest of the week? We, again, expecting, still expecting quarterly results from banks, so uh, positive and bullish trading on financial stocks, active trading on Safaricom, as well as... Um, uh, end-year results for counters like Centum, which we haven't seen. 